So we're going to work shoulder dissociation now on the tower. You can play around with the springs. From square on, you're going to stand roughly 45 degrees. And obviously, we're going to do both sides. Now, get into a chair position. So you're in a Russian squat type position. Feet hip socket distance apart. Knees over the ankles. Lower back flat. Reach forward with the arms. Now, the line of pull, as Tanya is to the right of the tower, the line of pull is going to be more to the left. Now, what you're going to do is shoulder dissociation. Reach your left arm without the pelvis move. Hold on, hold it there. Reach the left arm forward and then bring it back. Reach the right arm forward and then bring it back. Shoulder dissociation and then reach the arm. You're alternate. So what you're aiming to do is to keep the pelvis still, to keep the spine still. It's going to stretch off this side more because there's more pull on the spring that way. We'll have to shoulder dissociate just in a slightly different way. And then obviously you do the other side. So I'll just stand back and get a better view. Brilliant. Keeping the pelvis still, keeping the spine still. You're just reaching the arms and shoulder blades forward. 